Hi, I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about robot vision. If you're a robot hobbyist, you've probably noticed that you haven't seen very many articles out there on robot vision. The reason is it's too hard for hobbyists, at least it has been until now. Robot Basic is a fantastic free language and the newest version, which you can get at robotbasic.com for free, has in it some new vision commands. In particular, we have commands that allow you to capture pictures from a webcam or other camera. In this case, we're going to demonstrate using a little humanoid robot we have here that's controlled by servos. We have a webcam mounted here on the top with a rubber band, not too fancy, but you could, of course, if you were really working on this, you could, could mount the, the camera inside the head, maybe on one of the eyeballs itself. Uh, we're going to actually see this little humanoid robot track some objects and identify some objects using some of the algorithms. As I was saying, Robot Basic has commands in it that allows you to capture a picture, allows you to analyze the picture, find out the statistics of the picture, change the contrast and brightness, change the resolution, track a color, all sorts of things that now make it very easy for the typical robot hobbyist to actually do some very sophisticated things something that you might see at a university. If you happen to be a university student, think of the projects you could do using this kind of software. Fantastic and available today. Go to robotbasic.com and download your version. But let's take a look. Frank here is actually a puppet of sorts. He has inside him seven servos. Just pull up the back here a little bit to show you the inside of his head. There's an article that has been accepted by Servo Magazine, one of the elite robot hobbyist magazines. There's an article that's already been accepted that shows how Frank is constructed and how to control Frank using Robot Basic. Uh, we're submitting a new article based on this video that talks about vision and how you can use it to make your own robot or do your own projects. Imagine having your little robot look for a ping pong ball on the, on the floor and go find it and kick it. You know, a soccer playing robot, if you would. Well, let's move right into it and take a look at Frank in action. Now, what we're going to do in this demo is we're going to use three objects. I have here some yellow fish food, a green Christmas tree, it's a cookie cutter, and a red vegetable or veggie brush. Now, we're using these three different objects because they're of distinct colors. As you'll see in a moment, we can have the robot track any colors we wish they must be unique to its environment. You know, so if you were tracking a ping pong ball, for example, if you painted it pink, it might be very easy for the robot to travel, uh, to track. You could also have it track your face if you had it track a flesh collar uh, so that it recognizes when people come in the room, for example. So anyway, we're going to have it look for these objects, identify them. When the robot gets the object centered into its vision, so it'd be right in the center of its vision looking right at the object, then it will say the object, say that I saw the, the yellow fish food or the, the Christmas tree and so on. But let's get right to the demo. All right, when we run this program, the first thing Robot Basic is going to do is ask us for which camera we want. I'm going to select the first camera there because that's the one I'm using. Then with the camera is taking a picture now and we're going to simply accept its 640 by 40 resolution. And at this point, it's asking us if we want to, um, to initialize our objects. So what we're going to do is say yes. And it takes a picture of the three objects I'm going to use. I'm going to click on the yellow one first so it knows that's the yellow object. You'll notice up here in the left hand corner it's given us the actual numbers that represent that color. Then we're going to go to the green. We get another number. And finally red. And those will be the objects that it will be tracked. Here it's asking us if we want to initialize our servo controller and we'll say no because I've already initialized it in the past. 
Right, as you can see, Frank doesn't see a color now because his eyebrows are low. If I bring a color into his view that he's familiar with, his eyebrows. I see the yellow fish food. And of course, if I bring another object, let's say the green Christmas tree. You notice that in the background on the screen, it's showing a green box where his vision is tracking the color green. We'll raise it up a little. I see the green Christmas tree. As I raise it up, he's tracking his head upward. Then I'll move his head to one side a little. He tracks over, his eyes go first. And I'll bring it down. If he sees it in the center of the screen, getting closer. I see the green Christmas tree. Let's try a red veggie brush. I see the red veggie brush. I'll try to get him to look over to his right. There he goes. And turning his head. Then I'll try to go all the way to his left. Going to raise his head a little, moving the object up. Notice it's tracking the red object on the screen behind him. He looked up. I'm going to look down. Well, he's lost it probably. There it goes back in. Starting to look down to find the object. I see the red veggie brush. Let's try a yellow again quickly. I see the yellow fish food. The green Christmas tree. I see the green Christmas tree. We'll make him look a little to his right. A little more to his right. I see the green Christmas tree. And back over to his left. focuses on it, centering it in the screen. I see the green Christmas tree. And there we go. Taking back the other direction. I see the red veggie brush. 